In this video, I'm going to be repairing a approximately 10 to 12 year old Delta kitchen faucet. There's a leak on the downspout right at this middle section right here. You can see the water on the side right where it spins and pivots. See if I can recreate that. There it goes. You can see the water leaking out. Now this Delta faucet has a lifetime warranty, so I sent an email to them with pictures attached showing where the leak was, and they sent me two repair kits, RP37022, which has a bonnet, washer, and retainer clip right there. They also sent me RP37021, which has two O-rings. I wasn't exactly sure where those repair kits went, but I did find a schematic online on the Delta website. That shows everything blown apart. The RP37021, the two O-rings go right here. And the RP37022 with the retainer clip, the bonnet, and the washer, they go down here below those two O-rings. And the bonnet is threaded, so I believe to get all this apart, that's where I'm going to have to start, to back off that bonnet, and then all of this should come apart. Now, to make this repair, I don't have to shut off the water because with both the faucets off, there's no water going through the downspout. I've never taken this all apart before. I've never made this type of repair, so I'm kind of trying to figure it out as I go. Now, this piece, the bonnet, it's threaded, so this screws down into this bottom section. So I should be able to turn this to the left, lefty-gloosey, and then this top piece should come off. I have a pair of channel lock pliers with duct tape over the teeth to keep from damaging the chrome. That bottom piece is turning too. So. All right, I got two pair of channel locks now. One to hold this bottom piece because that was turning as well. There we go. So if you're trying this, you may need two pair of channel locks. So now to get all this apart, this plastic retainer ring has to come off. And now this bonnet should slide down like that. So now we have access to all those parts that we want to replace. Here are the two O-rings, and right up here is the washer, that flat little washer that came with the bonnet and the retainer clip. Now I just need to get these old O-rings off. All right, there's one. There's two. So I'm going to start out by wiping this off, cleaning it up a little bit, and I'm going to slide the new O-rings on. And once I get them on, I have some silicone grease, some faucet grease that I'm going to put on these O-rings. There's one. Here's the silicone faucet grease. It was about $4.30. I bought it at Lowe's. I'm going to put some of that on each one of the O-rings. I'm going to put a little bit more on this middle part because this does spin back and forth at pivots. Putting some grease on there, I don't imagine it's going to hurt anything. Now I'll slide that new washer all the way up where the old one was. Slide the new bonnet up there, like that. The retainer clip has a break in it right there. And it snaps on just like that. Now it should be as simple as sliding this back in, turning the bonnet until it's tight, and that should be it. So this should slide right back in. And then screw the bonnet in all the way down. Using those two pair of channel locks again, holding the bottom piece steady with one and turning that top piece, that bonnet with the other until that's tight right there. Put that piece back on top, which I did not need to take off, but I didn't know that. Now let's give it a test. No leaks at all, bone dry. And the faucet feels a little bit tighter too as I turn it. Simple as that. Fixed. If you have a Delta faucet, remember they are warranted for life. Delta should send you free replacement parts. You just have to ask for them. If you happen to have this same Victorian style Delta faucet, this is model number 2256-DST. I'll put that in the description down below. And a couple of months ago, I actually repaired this faucet again with free parts. I had a drip from the downspout every few seconds. I'll put a link to that video right up here on the top left. But for this video, you just saw how easy it is to repair a leak right here in the center portion on the Dallas belt where it turns and pivots. That was a simple repair. Anybody can do that. Go to deltafaucet.com. You can look up your model number if you don't know that. There's a contact form where you can send them all your information and request the parts that you need to fix your faucet. Hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.